Welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Our reading, titled Be Filled, was written by Karen Pimpo. The horrific assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. happened at the height of the American Civil Rights Movement of the 1960s. But just four days later, his widow, Coretta Scott King, courageously took her husband's place in leading a peaceful protest march. Coretta had a deep passion for justice and was a fierce champion of many causes. In Matthew chapter 5, Jesus said, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. We know that someday God will come to deliver justice and right every wrong. But until that time, we have the opportunity to participate in making God's justice a reality on earth, just like Coretta did. Isaiah 58 paints a vivid picture of what God calls His people to do. Loose the chains of injustice. Set the oppressed free. Share your food with the hungry. Provide the poor wanderer with shelter. Clothe the naked. And do not turn away from those who need help. Seeking justice for the oppressed and the marginalized is one way our lives point back to God. Isaiah writes, that his people seeking justice is like the light of dawn and results in healing for them as well as for others. Today, may God help us cultivate a hunger for his righteousness here on earth. As we seek justice his way and in his power, the Bible says we'll be satisfied. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Isaiah chapter 58, verses 6 through 12. Is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen, to loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke? Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter, when you see the naked to clothe them? and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood. Then your light will break forth like the dawn, and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you, and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Then you will call, and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help, and He will say, Here am I. If you do away with the yoke of oppression, with the pointing finger and malicious talk, and if you spin yourselves in behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness and your night will become like the noonday. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. Your people will rebuild the ancient ruins and will raise up the age-old foundations. You will be called repairer of broken walls, restorer of streets with dwellings. Let's pray. Give us a hunger for justice, God. Help us to be a part of your work in doing what's right. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thanks for listening today. My name is Tony Collier, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.